This is Skip with the WSGF and I wanted to share with you an update on a custom model of the WSGF stand I've been working on. I was asked by a couple of members on the forum if we could design or work on a stand that would support three 32 inch 4K panels. I've put together this prototype here based on the dimensions of the sharp 32 inch 4K panel that they currently have on the market. As you can see here, using two bases to help distribute the weight and the physical size of the monitors, we do have a product that works. Between the boards here, we're getting about a 25 to 30 degree angle. The brown hardboard is simulating the height and the width of the monitor, and then the purple foam is simulating the depth of the monitor. Looking here at the back of the stand, you can see why it was important to model not only the width and the height of the display, but also the depth. The depth plays a large role in where you adjust the, the pivot in the monitor on the bar. At this 30 degree angle with, this, with, with these monitor dimensions, the pivot is butt directly up against the hinge. If you wanted a slightly greater angle, the pivot would hit the hinge here and that just simply wouldn't be possible. With this current alignment, I actually have the three middle bars here um, slightly offset with a small curve between each segment. I did find that if you flatten these middle three segments, you can jump the pivot on the other side of the hinge and you can get to a 50 or 60 degree angle between your monitors if you so wish. So we do end up with a slight gap in what's possible for alignment. You can basically get 0 to 30 with a pivot on this side of the hinge, but if you want more than a 30 degree angle between your monitors, you're going to have to jump the pivot on the other side of the hinge, flatten out the middle three bars, and be somewhere between 50 and 60 degrees. So we do have a gap between about 30 and 50 um, where it will be difficult if not impossible to get that specific alignment. One last thing I want to mention is what may happen if there's any even slight variance here on the manufacturer or with your desk. With a single base and single pole and single bar, if there's even a degree or two difference here, or if your desk isn't level or planed completely flat, um, that is easily overcome with the adjustable nature of the pivots. However, since we're tying two poles and two bases together, if there's any variance here, no matter how slight, or in your desk, you may end up with a situation where the base tilts or rocks slightly. To fix that, you would need to shim up um, one part of the base so that it had a solid footprint um, all the way around. This is really the only drawback of using a two base and two pole system and it's not really something that can be avoided um, given all of the parts and all of the connections even the slightest amount of variance um, would produce a problem that gets exaggerated um, as you move out from the center and the same thing with your desk there's no way that we can know or account for any imperfections no matter how minor uh, that you may have on your desk whether it's handmade um, custom crafted or, or mass produced. So this is just one thing to be aware of. We have the stand without any mock-up panels or any displays installed. You can see that it's pretty big. Um, it's two bases, two poles, seven segments, um, and the bar is a full eight feet long from end to end. I originally started the project based on the request to uh, prototype a stand that could hold three 32 inch 4K panels but given the size of the stand and the size of the bar, um, I thought why not look for some other use cases. So here we have three 34 inch 21 by 9 Ultra HD monitors mocked up. I've left a little gap between each one so that we can account for the depth of the monitors. But the prototype does hold, it does function here. So we've got it for both 32 inch 4K Ultra HD and then 34 inch 21 by 9 1440p ultra wides. So I wanted to show you how I got the three 34 inch ultra wides to align. Um, the three middle segments here are in a line, they're not curved. The second and uh, sixth segments are angled out pretty sharply at about 40 degrees or so. But then this last segment here is actually angled back a little bit. I've got a negative angle on it. And you can see here the pivot is on just this side of the hinge. So looking at the different use cases, 
Um, with the 32 inch 4K Ultra HD, in one scenario, depending on the angle you wanted, if you wanted a shallow angle, we had the pivot on this side of the hinge. Then if you wanted a, an extreme angle, 50, 60 degrees or so, you had to jump to the other side of the hinge. But we ended up with a void here somewhere between 30 and 50 degrees that just wasn't feasible. So what may be the better option um, is to see if we can get a custom product made by Ergotech that's just a five segment bar where the outside segments are 16 inches um, instead of just the 12. Um, the five segments at segments two and four would still have the clamp, dual bases, dual poles, but this may be a better and more economical option um, that I can explore with Ergotech. If you're interested, leave me a comment, drop me a line, there'll be a link um, for a forum thread. But let us know what you think, and uh, thanks for watching.